The sky is full of questions. And so are our comments. It's time for some answers. It's time for Ask the Captain. First question today, Joshua Canham, 4822. What's your preferred technique or method for landing a large jet like the 777 in strong crosswind conditions? Great question. My preferred technique is wing down top rudder. Now, a lot of people do it differently. They'll keep a crab in right until the very last minute. They'll kind of get in the flare and then they'll push some opposite rudder or bring that nose around. That's a completely accepted technique. I like to kind of be lined up a little bit farther out. So I'll go wing down top rudder. You got to be careful with that because if you go too far wing down, like the crosswind is too strong there's a opportunity that you could strike the either the engine or the tip of the wing so there are some limits to that uh technique but i i like that technique to begin with i've used a combination of both sometimes in the past good question uh we've got uh, simon robbins 8357 given that smoking on airplanes is universally banned why do aircraft manufacturers still install no smoking signs with lights by every seat. That's a great question. I've done a couple of short videos on this. And the reason is most of those airplanes were designed back in the 80s and the 90s. Now they might not have been purchased until the early 2000s, but I don't think you knew this. The last airline, the last country to allow smoking on airplanes was China. And that was all the way up till 2017. So that's not that long ago. That's only eight years ago. And so those airplanes that were designed back in the 90s had no smoking signs because it was permitted in most places around the world. China did it up to 2017. Boeing, Airbus, they sell airplanes to everybody around the world. So they have to make them for every single customer. That's why an American airplane sold here in the U.S. would have a no smoking sign on it because that same airplane might have gotten sold to China. Now you're noticing a difference. The newer Airbuses and the newest Boeings that are coming out don't have the no smoking electronic signs. They have just a little sticker with a cigarette and a line through it. And that's the wave of the future. So any airplanes made most likely in the 2020s and beyond will just have that little sticker on them. You won't see those no smoking signs anymore. 